Hi everyone. Hope you're all well. Hi Rosie, I'll just add you on. Talking to Rosie, who is a beauty blogger. Hi, how are you? Hello, I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Thanks so much for joining us today. You look lovely and glowy. <laughs> I just went to town on the bronzer because I was like, <laughs> no sun right now. <laughs> yeah, but I look really washed out. I'm sitting by a massive window, so I'm looking quite pale. But... Yeah, thanks so much. Um, so do you want to start off by um, telling us a bit about you and about your blog, Love Rosie? Yeah, for sure. So I started Love Rosie around six years ago. I yeah. was in that lacked um, any kind of like creativity and I felt like I needed an outlet. I didn't know a whole lot about the blogging world. Um, yeah. I followed a couple of bloggers kind of like on Instagram, loved their aesthetic but had no clue the amount yeah. of to it. Um, so it started my blog really as like, a, oh, I kind of like to paint my nails and I like to do my hair. I'm going to write about it. And then it just went much bigger than I anticipated where it went to like reviews and different stuff like that. And it's turned into such a labor of love and it's helped me through my career. And it's, it's helped me as a person. Like now the person that I am almost six years later is so much more confident. Yeah some amazing things go to events meet people um and I, I honestly wouldn't know who I was now without it so it's yeah. amazing and where did you get the inspiration for Love Rosie because when I always see your username I always think of you know the film um Love Rosie is that what kind of inspired you kind of I mean I love yeah. I actually watched it the other day and had a good did you? <laughs> I just need to watch it um, when it came to branding and stuff, I was so naive at the start. I knew I wanted it to be focused around me. I knew I wanted yeah. my face in there. I'd seen a lot of bloggers that were kind of behind the scenes. And I always thought, well, I'm missing something because I can't connect. I yeah. wouldn't be able to connect with the blogger. Um, so that was a factor. Um, and people that know me know that everything I do, I'm like, oh, I love that. Love that. Like, <laughs> love this song and it kind of just went from um the, the idea was to review stuff and not necessarily love everything because you can't um and now it's got to a point where obviously honesty is the best policy and I don't love everything but when I do love something it's like yes got the stamp she yeah so that's kind of where it came from yeah and it sounds a lot better than kind of hates Rosie or likes Rosie love Rosie <laughs> <laughs> So for those that might not know, um, you actually work in influence marketing as kind of your full-time job besides from your blog. So do you think that was that kind of a step that happened after you made your blog and how did it kind of impact, if at all? So yeah, so like I said, the blog has ac accelerated my career into yeah. maybe I'd have been hidden away from. Um, it was my goal. I was in kind of like a marketing role anyway, and it was my goal to get into more of influence marketing. Yeah. So, um, like the blog helped that happen, which was amazing. But it's really helped me see both sides of the, of the coin because obviously yeah. I'm a blog and the the communication, the assets needed, the time that goes into these things. But also on the other side of it, I'm I'm chatting to brands, working on behalf of them, and understanding what brands can get out of this how much they need to do to really appreciate what a blogger does you know I have brands coming to me and saying I just want to do a kind of gifted thing and, and that's absolutely fine but I'm trying to as a blogger myself really sell everything that a blogger does because we wear so many hats you know we do research we take photos we create content we're always looking at google updates like there's so much more to it than just sticking a nice photo up and thinking the algorithm's working our yeah. way so it's really helped give a different perspective and then put that back into blogging chatting to other bloggers and stuff I think it's it's grounded me as a content creator yeah and what kind of brands do you work with kind of with those influencers it kind of like brands that you would normally work with yeah I mean it's a real mix because yeah. it's an influence marketing platform you do tend to get sort of lots of different brands the ones I would say I'm most um inspired by are kind of the the lifestyle brands the beauty brands the 
skincare brands and things like that just because for me it's like they're speaking my language yeah so <laughs> straight away give them my you know information and stuff like that and my ideas of oh I already know this blogger I think she'd represent you really really well things like that but it's great because it takes me out of my comfort zone and I speak to like tech techie people or you know brands that are, that are interested in lots of different things that as a blogger myself I would never know how to navigate yeah so, yeah and I guess on the way you're making your own connections as well so you can kind of sneakily pitch yourself in for those TSD yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so where do you kind of find inspiration for like your content yeah it's um lots of different things actually um life obviously day-to-day -day life I'm inspired by the community I feel like over the last year with the pandemic the community has come back like when I first started blogging about six years ago Twitter was full of link sharing and comment threads and I want to help this blogger out and let me share that for you and just a real nice place to be that kind of fell away in the last couple of years the pandemic's happened it feels like that's booted up again that yeah. really, I see other people being creative and I think I can write about this and I can do a good job and give it kind of my spin get people talking I read a lot of magazines and online publications and my real big thing in life is trying to be healthy, trying to make sure I, you know, am healthy. My skin reflects that. So like skincare and different stuff like that. And I love trying things. I almost want to try things and put myself in a position where I look silly so that other people don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> I'd appreciate, you know. Yeah. And I saw that you're also engaged. Um, I'm not sure when that happened, but congratulations anyway. And so I saw you kind of writing a lot of bridal content as well so I guess it's kind of situations like that it's kind of whatever's happening in our lives yeah it's re I'm really lucky because it's kind of a lifestyle threads of beauty and threads of fashion and skincare and stuff I do kind of get to take it where I want to take it that reflects my life and my readers seem to be fine with that you know I've not had any yeah like why are you writing so much about this they seem to really enjoy it but then I think a blog where it's kind of informal and it's chatty, you can let it sort of mirror your life and people get invested. They want to know more about you. Yeah. Um, yeah, it kind of works like that. So that's nice. Yeah. So what do you kind of look for when you're reviewing kind of a new product or like a range? Is there anything that makes it stand out to you? Oh, definitely. I am such a big packaging person. That's yeah. always go to. Like if something's got like packaging goals, straight away I'm like, well, I'm just going with it. I don't know. <laughs> have to have it um, but a big thing for me recently maybe in the last like year 18 months is the importance of like sustainability are these brands making steps to be more green be more eco are they bringing these things in um and then also like multi-purposing is there a product that can do three things in one so i don't have to keep spending out for this potion and this potion and, and all of this kind of stuff that's a real big one for me because brands need to go forward and be more sustainable as consumers that's what we're looking for and as a blogger I want to encourage my readers to go and buy that kind of thing so they're my big three I would say yeah so what kind of beauty or skin or product have you spotted in the last that you're obsessed with so a big one for me I mean thank thankfully I work from home so yeah. I'm beautified constantly but the big one for me in the last kind of few months has been like skin I don't know how to say it's skinimalism <laughs> yeah we did a trend yeah for that yeah I am I'm I like being glam like everybody but I also like to try and make sure my skin is happy and breathing and I think if I'm putting so much effort into drinking so much water putting this lotion on putting this SPF on I don't want to sort of flood my face with something and make me look silly and also if I can have 15 more minutes in bed in the morning I will <laughs> so kind of being more minimalist mm. staple products make you look better or like yeah. you want to accentuate but also you look like yourself that's I'm really behind that yeah definitely I've been testing out how much concealer I can you know put on without putting the whole foundation on <laughs> just a, each day I'm like getting a bit less and less <laughs> said and than done in the summer because when you're <laughs> broke, you naturally feel a bit better 
in the winter when it's like eye bags brown yeah. oh maybe I should put something on but we'll see if it goes into the winter for me yeah I mean hopefully I might have to top up with a freight fake tan being ginger and Irish it doesn't always work out with the sun so um so what would you say for kind of anyone starting out on your on a blogging journey your top advice to find their own style and niche I mean, I would say there's a lot of talk when people say, oh, it's a saturated market, there's no room. I completely disagree with that. 100% disagree with that. You've got a voice and you're willing to put the work in. Get it out there. Yeah. The thing about blogging is being yourself. People say, oh, you have to have a niche. And if it's skincare, then it has to be acne, for example. Yeah. That works for a lot of people. But for me personally, I find myself going back to blogs and reading blogs and following people because I'm in, invested in them as a person they don't have to show me everything of their life you know I'm I keep certain parts away because otherwise there's it's too much of a mix isn't yeah. it if you invest in the person because they're lovely or like some of my favorite blogs are when I read them I feel like I'm on, on the sofa having a cup of tea with them yeah that spells it every single time so that's what I would say if you want to get into blogging be aware there's a lot more to it than lovely photos, nice events, gifts and money. But if you're willing to put the work in, your voice and, and do it, you, you won't regret it. Yeah, and everyone's saying it's great advice. Someone said, just get out there and do it. So, so true. Um, so what can your followers kind of look forward to in the upcoming months? Do you have any projects you're working on or? I do, I've got a couple of project, uh, pro projects. I mean, I'm hoping to be getting married at the end of this year. Oh, phone three times oh. I was like anti-bride for a little while <laughs> <laughs> but there's some more wedding content which will be coming up um more skincare stuff I mean I found I started the blog thinking it'd be more beauty focused and then as the years have progressed and I've gotten older I mean I'm 20 yeah. now I've become more skincare obsessed so I think there'll be more of that um coming yeah uh, so yeah, some, some good stuff coming, more of the same and, and just more in-depth reviews and yeah. catching back up and real like opinion pieces. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to read all about it. Um, thanks so much for joining us. It's been so lovely to talk to you. Um, and we'll upload this onto our feed as well um, with all of your hashtags as well. So if you can follow you on there. Amazing. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, thanks for watching everyone and tune in for next week as well, but yeah, at the same time. Thank you. Bye.